Fans were very happy to learn a few weeks back that Zack Snyder would release an R-rated Blu-ray director's cut of Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Speaking with THR, Snyder revealed that his director's cut includes an extra half hour of footage made up of some additional material they took out to help secure a PG-13 rating. The footage will contain extended action sequences that tip the skills from moderate to somewhat brutal bits of action, making the Blu-ray over three hours in length. He also confirmed that there will be no nudity in the cut either. Christian, thoughts on the length of Zack Snyder's R-rated Batman vs. Superman cut? Makes sense. I mean, the, the the movie itself is coming in at 2.30, or the theatrical yeah. release at 2.30, and we and we were pretty much, they gave confirmation that there's going to be a rated R version of this with, with more scenes and more uh, violence is kind of what we thought it would be. So I'm not shocked at all that it's three hours. I think fans that are, that are going to purchase this, that's kind of what they want. If they already know that 2.30 is going to be, again, the theatrical cut, that a three-hour cut of a rated R, yeah, give it to me. Like That's exactly what I'm going to want if I want to see a rated R version because if it's just a few little scenes, little shots here and mm-hmm. there, that that was that much of a difference from the rated R. No, go full out. Go balls the wall let's let's do it so, so three hours rated r I, I i dig it david i'm curious to see how much is going to change the film uh, i was talking to john Campy here just mm-hmm. this past week we're talking about kingdom of heaven the kingdom of heaven yeah. director's cut that you've never seen cut. that did it change it it's crazy if you watch a director's cut it changes the film completely hmm. it's an entirely different film now some director's cuts or peter jackson doesn't like to call them that because he thinks that that means the preferred version of the film didn't make it he calls it an extended edition just adds new scenes but doesn't really change what lord of the rings is all about but kingdom of heaven actually changed the film for the better of course you never saw that version in the theaters it'll be interesting to see how batman v superman that 30 minutes if it helps hurts or just doesn't do it, or it's just like fan service, who knows? Right. And from his comments too, definitely there's gonna be more violence to it, but not necessarily more blood. It's not gonna be gory or anything like that. It's just more intense. I'm wondering in the vein of like, people talk about the Matrix, how it was super violent, it got an R rating, but it wasn't necessarily very bloody. It was just a lot of intense violence. And I wonder if that's the additional scenes. I actually do wish that this these comments that he's making now, didn't come out until a couple weeks, three weeks from now, because now I'm gonna sit in the theater watching the movie, right. and the whole time I'm gonna be like, or not the whole time, but part of the time during an action sequence, I'm like, hmm, I wonder if there's more to this scene mm-hmm. here. I wonder right. if this is here. What is this? So I, I, I kind of think it's gonna distract me a little bit from yeah, it. I, you know, I bet you get over it pretty quick, though. Yeah. I mean, there's probably a couple scenes you, you'll see, but I think because it, I don't think anybody can argue that that Zack Snyder knows how to shoot action, mm-hmm. and that you're gonna be so kind of immersed in the action when it's happening. You might have that thought a few different times, yeah. but I think that when the actual, because of what you're seeing, um, and if if we know that he's going to deliver like he has in the past with action, that you'll probably at the end of it go, now I really want to yeah. see that rated R cut. That's or maybe I watch the rated R cut later on and think, oh, they, they were right to cut all this stuff. Exactly. Maybe it was too yeah. much. Yeah, and you know, The Matrix also, The Matrix was also rated R because of the language as well. Was there too. a lot of There's a lot of F-bombs. A lot of really? F-bombs, okay. yeah. So, well, they uh, could easily cut that out. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And I, But I don't think that they need... that. Zack Snyder has traditionally shot rated R films. Yeah. I mean, with 300 and The Watchmen and uh, Sucker Punch have all been rated R movies, so you could see why he, I mean, even, you, we were watching Man of Steel, and our Man of Steel commentary actually is up on the channel right now. If you haven't seen that, you should. It was myself and Mark Ellis and Campy and Schnapp. We did a whole thing, but watching that movie, there's some intense violence in that movie. I mean, really intense, and there's some stuff, and even some of the language, it wasn't F-bombs, but there's some, there was some stuff that certain kids are saying on the bus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, there's it's things that are happening in that movie that you could see there where he held back and he made a PG-13 movie, but for him to be able to have a rated R version, I think is pretty exciting that I'd want to see. And I don't, and I'm reading some of the comments here. I don't agree that, I, I mean, even though they said that they were aware that they wanted to release this after the success of Deadpool, this wasn't done as a response to Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. They, right. they were going to do this before Deadpool, but certainly the success said, all right, well, then we should definitely put this out. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.